So there's several different ways to hook live bait and there's different schools of thought. For me personally, I like hooking my pinfish like this when I'm pitching him because if I have to pull the pinfish, he's gonna swim straight ahead. He also doesn't have an obstructed mouth so he breathes better, I think he lasts longer. And when, a lot of times when predator fish attack their prey, they try to get it head first just like that. So that helps you get the hook inside the fish's mouth faster. So you get a better hookup, I think, that way. A lot of people will hook them, you know, back here under the anal fin. Some people hook them through the lips. That all works. But just for me, this is the way I like to fish this type of bait and this style of fishing. Little tip for you, to get a better bite, you can cut the fins right off the pinfish. And that will reduce the amount of pain and aggravation the predator fish feels when he takes a bite. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one. What do I got? Freaking shark. <laughs> it's a freaking little nerd shark. Jeez. Oh, look at that. I'm not expecting that at all. That was the last thing I expected. Well, that's interesting. First fish of the day, right there. And they're short. Look at that dude. He's got some rough skin. Look at that. So, this nurse shark was definitely not what I was expecting. But, uh, pretty cool little catch. I haven't caught a nurse shark that size ever. They're usually a lot bigger. Let's go ahead and toss him back in. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, Rupert. Yeah, baby. Nice. He smoked that thing. Whew. Nice little gag. Not a keeper, but man, he hit that like a freight train. I'm telling you, he absolutely smoked that pinfish. Pretty cool. These little gag grouper are powerhouses, I'm telling you. Even the ones that aren't keeper size are strong as heck, and you really got to muscle them out of the structure. Now he's got my finger in a trap there. All right, let's let him go. Oh, 